So think, think of the gut microbiome, this collection of bugs that they live in within our body and within our gut as this big, big pharmacy. And they're producing a lot of different things. These bacteria, they talk to each other, they work to, with each other, and they're making different molecules. And those molecules then go out and support the rest of our body, okay? Sometimes when we are diseased or if somebody has a chronic condition, the composition, the makeup of the bacteria in the gut changes and you get now some bacteria that are not necessarily very good or they're not producing factors that are helping the rest of the body. When we give somebody a fecal transplant, we are getting bacteria that are healthy from another healthy individual and then putting it into the patient. And now you're replacing some of that bad bacteria with good bacteria. And we know that the immune system is linked to how healthy those gut bugs are and we also know that there's bugs in the pancreatic cancer. And those bugs in the cancer help block the immune system and they also help chew up the chemo drugs that we use. So completing the fecal transplant helps the chemotherapy um, kill more cancer cells. Pancreatic cancers are very hard to treat. The treatments we do have are modestly beneficial. Um, it's one of the worst prognosis cancers that we have. We've been working in collaboration with Dr. Silverman over at St. Joe's um, as part of Lawson. Uh, who is our collaborator on all the studies that we've done. And so his lab and his team over there, they prepare the, uh, the stool capsules and they screen the donors. And they've been doing fecal transplants for quite some time and we've just now brought them into the oncology space. St. Joe's role is to, is to produce these capsules that we make for transplant. We screen healthy donors and we're always looking for healthy people who, um, who can donate their poop. Our partnership between Lawson and LHSCRI has been able to do cancer studies uh, that are groundbreaking and are seen around the world as the leader in this field. So we have done more studies in this area than anyone else, in more different cancer types than anyone else, and we want to continue on that groundbreaking work. Through our translational research, we are hoping to create new treatments that are more effective and hopefully have better outcomes for our patients.